Hey guys, Wolf, and I'm back with the next round of the EU tournament. So I'm against Grunt Dude, who's like the best, one of the best players in the UK. So yeah, I already knew this was going to be quite a tough challenge for me. And um, Zeba, I've already, I've already said this before, but Zeba is not the greatest. I don't, like I know what I'm supposed, to, I'm supposed to do against Zeba, but actually doing it is a totally different story. But yeah, I was ready for him because we played a couple of casuals before, and I was winning quite a lot of them. He was playing Zvi at the time, but you know. I'll take any win I can. So he just starts spacing off, he tries to hit me with that, I shield him in his jaw. I try to 6-6-B, nothing. He tries to low me. The, the game's lagging a little bit, that's why I didn't get the punish properly. But, clears up as always. I don't know if that's me or what, but he always seems to start off laggy and then just gets progressive, progressively better. Hit him with that box standard pack pressure, that's punishable, but I don't think Pat can really punish it much. And I just keep on hitting him. That's, that, that's basically how the hard match went. Well, not the match, but this round. I just kept hitting him. You can dock that. I don't think he knows if he can or the game's lagging or something. I don't know. I have no clue. Yep, I should have launched a punish that instead of trying to go for 6-6-B. He's too slow. Hit with the, he blocks the low, but he doesn't punish it. I could have probably got a BB off that, but I did not. I don't know why. And basically, the, the game plan was for me was just get in his face and, yeah, do this. Sure, Michael's elbow drops to the jaw. Um, but yeah, basically just get close. He's got quite good um, while rising punishes, so I didn't try to low kick as much. And he wasn't really he wasn't really like punishing my throws or anything. So like even if he, I don't, I'm not sure I can't remember if he ducked them, if he ducked any throws or not, but he wasn't really punishing them. So yeah, I just kind of mixed him up, stay in his face. Fingers anticipating a low and he ducked, so that's what happens. Hit him with a slide. And I, was, I was anticipating a critical ledge, that's why I went with the low. And I, I take the first game 3 0. And at this point, I'm getting kind of cocky. It just happens. It always happens. It always happens. I don't know why it happens. I don't want it to happen, but it always happens. I get cocky and then I start getting complacent. Because I think that I'm like, oh, I just, want, I just want the first game convincingly. I'm the balls. Yeah, you can't touch me. I'm an untouchable force right now. Yeah, grunt dude, come at me. Yeah, I'm, I'm an untouchable force. You can't, you can't beat me. But of course, I am playing against Grunt Dude here, who is no slouch on the old joystick. That sounded gay. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't intend to make, intend to make that gay, but it just came out like that. He blocks, he blocks my low again, but no punish. I don't know why he's not punishing that. I know he doesn't, I know he doesn't really play the game anymore too much. He plays Dead or Alive quite a lot now, but yeah, I'll take that. I don't know why I did that. And that's that's super really punishable as well. It's about minus 16, minus 18, minus something stupid. And he takes the first round by hitting me when I'm backstepping. And now I'm like, oh crap! I shouldn't have got, I shouldn't have got too excited before, because now I'm getting raped. Hit one low kick, 66B. That's the trademark pattern. there. He whiffed some crap. I hit him. I hit him. That's that's. I don't, I don't like. I don't. I don't like doing play-by-play. -play. It, it just. It just. seems weird for me. I can't really keep up anyway. So I just. I just throw out bear attacks. So I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be keep up with. Yeah, I'm. Throw, I'm throwing out bear attacks at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. They, there we go. We, we both lie down, but one of us is, is still alive, and is able to roll. The other one is dead. But anyway, I might as well talk about some anti zebra. I think probably the best way, in my opinion. I know I've heard other people talk say other stuff, but the best. The best way I think to do to play against Zebra is number one, find a way to get around his. Yeah, I don't know. If I tried to just guard it, it didn't work. Um, the best way to get around. First of all, you have to find a way to get around his 6BK and his 6AK. Now, pack and 4K in between the kicks. You can't just let him mix him up, mix you up like that. But um, yeah, just find a way in between the kick. Uh, the kicks. Most can like AA or 2A, and then you get a free either a free back throw or a free launcher, depending if they duck or whatever, it's up to you. But yeah. And then number two, I would say just stand still and just block. Because he relies a lot on counter hits. And yeah, if you don't if you just stand there, what's he really gonna counter you at? Counter hits you on. I don't just mean like counter hits as in attacking, I mean attacking and moving. Because if you see that six A on run counter hit, you're still gonna get hit with a hell of a lot of damage. You know, he can, he can obviously throw you and low you, but most of his lows are quite reactable. Offline. Some of them are fucking impossible online. But yeah. So, yeah. Beware of that. And just stand there and block. 
See, you see me getting hit on counter hit? Yeah, I shouldn't, I shouldn't be doing anything like that. I shouldn't be moving, I shouldn't be doing none of that shit. And he steps me. I can't. I, I obviously can't run at this guy like too much because he's worked out. He's worked out my plan, which is knock down and run at people. That's that's literally all I do. Like I'm not even. I'm, I don't think I'm even a good player. Like I'm, that's what that's what I do with that. I can't punish that because the pushback is too far for me. You see, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not exactly doing anything. Like, run at him. Yeah, he blocks it. No punish. So like, if you're not gonna punish it, I'm gonna keep on doing it. There we go. No punish. So, you know, I'm just like, yeah, the tracking on 60 speed is kind of ridiculous. Look, drop, get him down, run at him, 60 speed, run at him again, grab him. No skill. I'm telling you, I'm not a skillful player. When I play with Pat, I just, I just run at, I just run at people. Run at people and scare them, intimidate them, slide at them the first time. I wasn't aware of that setup. So yeah, I got hit by that. But the good thing is I do learn, so I don't, I don't, think, I don't think he even tries it again, so. Yeah, even if he did try it again, I wouldn't uh, fall over it. Oh, you see that? You see those two slides in a, in, in a row. You see the, you see these skills. Do you see these skills? Like, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just such a skillful player in this game. It's just it's unbelievable. Nah, I'm, I'm really not. I'm an okay player. I get by by running at people. Is basically what I'm saying. B into six six B, my favorite setup in the game. He just he just he's sidestepping around me. I'm not letting I'm not I'm not letting it phase me though. I'm just backing up a bit. Low kick. 6-6B. I'm telling you, you'll see that setup a million times with me. That's what I do. Just do the same flow chart setup, so. I'm getting hit by that stupid move, bro. That move is fucking ridiculously good. 6 b into critical edge. That is a chunk of damage. Yep, that is quite good damage. And now I get to run at him. And the slide, no punish. I don't know if he's lagging for him or something, because he hasn't punished any low yet. And I was trying to, I was trying to bait a whiff, but knowing Grunt dude, he doesn't, he doesn't really whiff that much. And he hits me with that low that I can't punish because the pushback's too far. Don't know why I stopped releasing the guard. I think I tried to just guard or something. You know, you know that I, I barely just guard in any of these, um, in any of these tournament games. Now that is a fundamental flaw on my part, because um. Yeah, and he hits with the C again. It's not looking good. It's not looking good. Um, yeah, that is a floor on my part because um, oh, oh, oh! Do you see these? Do you see these straight off the floor? And people are people are texting me. Great. Yeah, six six beat beats everything. Um, yeah, that's a floor on my part because um, it, it kind of slips my mind totally. Mashing the A button. Yeah, it's fun. Gus just guarding in tournament matches, which kind of slips my mind. But there's a tournament on Friday offline tournament on Friday and you will be seeing some just cards because I, like I like to keep it entertaining for the viewer I didn't hear because I just forgot but now I'm consciously thinking about it I will I'll whip them out I will whip them out and yeah I'm looking at I'm looking at I'm looking for top three in that tournament I don't care straight up Friday I'm playing top three minimum is, is what, I'm, is what I'm, I'm expecting for myself Yep, more pressure. See, I backstep again and I get hit on round count, run counts. I'm telling you, the way to beat Zebra is just don't move. Like, just counter is counter is crap, but don't move too much. And as I say that, oh, nice wall combo. Okay, it wasn't. It was kind of shit, but yeah, Pat's wall game isn't great. He starts trying to hit me. I back up a bit. I see him trying to go for the four B. It's quite slow, so yeah, hit him with a four K. I uh, block that low because I'm a boss. And I hit him with a 2 8 after at quite a lot of disadvantage because that little kick is about minus 8 or minus 9, and then I did a 2 8 after because I thought he would hesitate. Hit him with a BB, nothing. Hit him with a. F oh, he, he, he looked like he ducked, but obviously he got up just in time. So we're both just doing the little Twitch duck, Twitch ducks for whatever reason. Oh, you see this. You see these Twitch ducks, and uh, Wall messes up my combo. I, do, I don't punish properly for. That one. I don't notice this, but he's doing like um. Oh, I can't remember it. what that. What's that load? I mean, it might be like beast like K or something, or case like B or some shit. But he's doing that and then doing six A straight afterwards, and I didn't realize that at the time. I'm realizing it now when I'm watching it back. That's why it's always good to watch your matches back, train in the background. Hasn't been one of them for a while in the video, I don't think. There is one now. And I'm two rounds up. I'm like, yes, this is mine. 
I could have, I might be, I might have been able to ring him out after that, actually. Try to see to get him out. That would have been an instant kill, but obviously I'm, I'm just so good at this game that I got, I got it instantly. And he's, 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 he's lost here. No, no, he's no, he hasn't done retard. Oh, I finally get a punish off it. Jesus Christ! Brace his guard. And I just free B afterwards because I couldn't be bothered to do the combo. No, you don't, you don't want to strain your hands as uh, as you want to strain your hands as little as possible. So, yeah. So I got that win. So I'm in losers finals at the moment. Come at me, Deadly Headley. GGs. I sent the I sent the old the exchange pleasantries at the end because there was there was none there was none exchange at the start. It was just like yeah, let's just get into this game so I can fuck off and go to sleep. It was quite late. It was like. 11 o'clock or something, 10, 11, more texts, 10, 11, 12 o'clock, so I was just like, yeah, let me just play this game and fuck off, I guess Grundy was the exact same, so anyway, thanks for watching, I'll catch you guys later, peace.